You got anything to say to your fans that have like been with you guys since the beginning? For everybody that's been with us since the beginning, thank you for putting up with us for so long. Um, and thanks for coming out and thanks for supporting us. We, you know, it sounds cliche, but we literally couldn't do it without you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yes, yes, y'all. You know, since we've come on board, they've, we've probably done, you know, no exaggeration, probably 2,500 shows. That's all we've ever done. <laughs> we playing this band since I was 17, and now uh, we'll do it for a living. My life is if he was a song to the highs and the lows and the rights and the wrongs. The rights and the wrongs. I mean, these guys are my brothers. Like, we we haven't been in the same band, but for a year. But we've been touring together constantly for seven years. We all always get confused about being from Pasadena, California, which we're not. <laughs> we know we had a band and a show with no name, but everywhere we went, people called us the, the guys from Pasadena. Joey and Aaron just kind of started playing open mics together, and they didn't have a name or anything like that, so people just kept referring to them as the Pasadena guys. I didn't really have a lot of expectations. Um, we were teenagers, we partied a lot. I didn't even really play bass when I first started. I just wanted it in a bet and Joe's like, hey, you got a bass? I play guitar, let's make a band. And uh, kind of went on from there. The people at these venues kind of named the band. Uh, so they just rolled with it like, yeah, sure, we're the Pasadena band. You know, getting in where they could since they were underage, they couldn't get in all the bars that they wanted to or go, you know, to perform. But they, from what I understood, they got in wherever they could get in. When we first started, it was a lot of like, um, uncompromising everybody else can go like fuck off like we're gonna do whatever we want whenever we want even though we were a little bit rambunctious at the time people still like respected us to the point that like we could fill the seats and the music was good you know it spoke to a lot of people on a personal level I was in a band called Ground Score and we met Pirate Rob who then we started doing shows with uh, his bands, which is mainly, you know, Pasadena, especially in those days. And so we just started doing shows with Pasadena. We really liked each other. We really clicked. When I went on my first solo tour, they took me out um, as an acoustic act with their band. Zach, especially with the guitar, like he's a rock and roll guy. We've been playing music with him and his other bands for years. And he brings like a lot of different thought processes to the table. Every musician will tell you that they take from their influences. And each one of us does take from our influences, uh, but we are a very varied group of people. And I grew up like ska punk kid. I'm used to playing faster stuff. I'm used to just hitting everything all the time as fast as I can. So in those moments with Pasadena where I can do that, I have a little fun with it. Aaron and Joey are like brothers as far as I know. Aaron's gonna show us where he used to do drugs. <laughs> They've done everything together for years. They come from the same hometown. You know, they knew all the same friends. They had all the same circles of, of people when they were growing up. And now they've been together in the band, you know, 15 years. And, you know, the camaraderie that's there, you just, it builds up, you know, spending hours and hours on the road in the van and in foreign cities on people's floors that you don't know. And, you know, just having a, a brother there that's along for the, the journey and the struggle with you is, is really something awesome that I can say for the band. A lot of band members don't know each other like that, but having somebody that you have been friends with and can count on through thick or thin, you know, there by your side is, you know, it's really something to, you know, cherish while you're out on the road and, you know, going through this music struggle because it's not an easy thing and to be doing it with a lifelong friend is, it seems like it would be pretty cool. Started just making little, little songs, recording them on a karaoke machine and 
playing them around house parties and stuff, and then me and Aaron started playing the good rooms in Baltimore, and then it's great. <laughs> like, his lyrics, his feel, uh, I think really stands out. The type of band we are is way more of like a, you know, build, um, ten, you know, you get 10 fans at a time, 100 fans at a time, and, and then it grows and grows from there until when you look back 10 years later or, or whatever, all of a sudden you've grown from very small to very sizable. You know, we run into the same faces uh, at a lot of these shows and each and every time they bring you know, two, three new faces. And then the next time we go out, we see all of them again and they have, you know, two, two more people. And We prefer it that way anyways, because you kind of earn your fans instead of just uh, being the hot thing at the time, you know? And we go over the country and we're starting to be a bigger presence. I always love playing in Nevada. Uh, anytime we go out there, we've done Vegas a couple times. Uh, this spot called Adrenaline out there is really good. Colorado, just beautiful. Everybody's in a good mood in Colorado. We're going to California for a while. I'm really excited about it. I love being out on the road, especially out west. It's kind of why I signed up to do this, is for the, uh, the touring and playing live. Uh, Lake Tahoe, a couple of days there. Like We have a good response in a lot of those areas, and so now it's just really trying to increase the turnout. The music industry being the way it is in this day and age, I, I think they're, you know, other than luck, and connections and knowing someone. You really just gotta put yourself out there. We don't wanna be apart from the crowd. We wanna help move the crowd. This is something that we want. I feel purpose. You know, sometimes I think about, you know, what I would do if it wasn't this. <laughs> it validates my existence, I guess. And I know whatever it would be would not be as fulfilling. I would always probably feel like there was something missing. It's pretty fucking rad. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for uh, wanting to do this. Uh, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, do you have a moment, guys? <laughs> I've got five minutes left. <laughs> <laughs>